Now let's get back to Megan Schiller and more on the recent rise in COVID cases locally. Ken, as I was mentioning earlier, there are now 28 counties across the Commonwealth in the orange. The orange means substantial spread of the virus. And as case counts increase, we're seeing hospitalizations increase as well. I talked with doctors at both of the healthcare giants in our area, and they say that almost all of the patients they currently have have one thing in common, and that's that they're unvaccinated. It's a mostly maskless Market Square Tuesday afternoon as COVID case counts in Allegheny County and the surrounding areas ramp up. We got as good as into the single digits of patients admitted, and now we've been running in the mid-20s. Allegheny Health Network's Dr. Nathan Shively spotted a change over the past three weeks, but says 20 hospitalizations at AHN pale in comparison to the hundreds. So far, it looks nothing like what we saw in the winter where we had throughout the network, for example, 360 to 380 admitted patients throughout our network. At UPMC, Dr. Donald Yealy just received these latest case counts. At its low was between 25 and 30 across all UPMC sites, it's 98 this morning. That sounds like a big jump, but that's 1 12th of what we saw at the both doctors tell me hospitalizations usually follow not far behind as case counts increase in the community, so they're expecting them to increase still. We do have dedicated COVID areas for care. They're not overrun right now. There isn't any one hospital with a significant number that would cause us or that site to really need a different approach to COVID. So I'm comfortable that we can manage. The CDC just upgrading 24 counties, including Allegheny, into the orange category for substantial community spread. For it to reach substantial, a county needs at least 50 cases per every 100,000 people. We are eight cases over that threshold in Allegheny at 58. Both doctors said this. Vaccination rates need to increase, but we're in a good spot. The majority of cases that are hospitalized now are people that are unvaccinated. Almost exclusively, that's what we're seeing, especially when we're talking about folks that are getting severely ill, people that are dying. And I also reached out to the Allegheny County Health Department to see if there's been any change to the mask policy here in the county. Dr. Deborah Bogan says she continues to support CDC guidance, which requires masking in indoor public settings. And she specifically called vaccination the most important public health action we can take to end this pandemic. Reporting live in Oakland tonight, Megan Schiller, KDK News.